Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a look at frame interpolation from Google Research. What is this frame interpolation for large motion? Okay, let's scroll down and have a look at the pictures, shall we? Here we go, pictures, right? So we've got one picture, we've got two pictures. We've put the two pictures together and we can interpolate between them. Look at all that, look at the smoothness of that motion. Okay, I want me some of that. Well, there's a web demo there, but as always, I am installing this locally. So let's pop over here and we'll do this all in Anaconda. Now, of course, you will have your NVIDIA GPU and preferably your Ubuntu operating system, although other varieties of Linux will do nicely. And of course, Anaconda. So first thing you want to do, create your new Python virtual environment. So Conda create minus minus name. I called it frame interpolation. You can pick whatever name you want and I am using Python 3.9 I of course then activated my Conda virtual environment so there we go now I've got a nice new environment I can git clone change into that new directory after I've git cloned pip install minus r requirements and sudo apt get install ffmpeg there you go you've downloaded it installed it that's that's all this stuff here yeah pip install minus r all that yeah you will then also need to download some pre-trained models from their Google Drive. So if you create a pre-trained models directory, yeah, and then you'll download it and you have FilmNet and VGG in there. So there are the pre-trained models. So you can right click on there and you can go download. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you download, put them into pre-trained models and then you've got it like that, exactly like it shows there. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Okay, so you've downloaded it, you've installed it. You are now ready to run the codes. We're running the codes. All right, let's run the codes, shall we? Got that one there, copy pasted in here. There we go, copy, pasta. Now, while that's doing its thing, we'll just show you what it's actually doing. So it's going from photo one and photo two. So we've got photo one there, we've got photo two there. Okay, whoopsie. And it's gonna generate a frame called middle that's gonna be somewhere in between those two. Yeah, so there's middle, look at that. Cracking, isn't it? Have a look at it in this one, there you go. So one, two, three. Yeah, this this one doesn't exist. That one it just made up. That's a new photo, somewhere in between those two. That's that's pretty cool, isn't it? That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, so what if we uh, what if we take this a bit too far? What if we take it a bit too far? Yeah, should we take it too far? Okay, let's take it too far. Now in this version, I'm going to do six interpolated frames between two completely different photos so let's let's just fire that off while we're doing things so here exactly the same thing but i've got times to interpolate six and i'm using photos nerdy all right what's going on in here what have we got in here well i've, I've got a golden retriever there and then i've got another golden retriever there there you go yeah so it's, it's looking one way and then it's looking the other way but there's only two pictures and there's absolutely no way it will know how to turn the dog's head. So we know that this is going to come out cursed. Cool, huh? Right, anyway, I will come back in just one second when this has finished doing all those interpolations. Alrighty, so that has done its interpolation magic. Let's have a, a quick look in this directory. So now we've got a video there, got a little MP4, and we've got all the interpolated frames. So it's done. 65 items from those two frames okay so let's have a look at the video and and there we have it there we go let's move in the middle yeah that's that's nice and cursed isn't it but still there were only two images so what do we expect what do we expect but it is pretty cool and it shows you can basically morph anything you want into anything else with just two images so you, you can change a cat into a dog or one person into another and yeah, depending on how many frames you put in between, it will look quite weird. Hmm, okay, great stuff. So, what other things can we do with this? Well, you know, you probably want to do an entire video in one go, wouldn't you? Yeah, so I've got I've got a few frames up here. You know, this is, this is some example output from PYTTY, and it's just a just a little animation there. So, yeah, you, you might want to do all those frames, mightn't you? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's, let's see what happens if we do that, yeah? Should we, should we just copy pasta that one in? There we go. So this is, this is a nice quick one. So I'm just using everything in those frames original directory. Only two times to interpolate this time and having a little video. Okay, well, we'll come back in a second and see what that looks like. 
Okay, there we go. So we've got our new interpolated video. There's the frames. Got loads of frames in there, 81 frames. Let's have a look at the video. And it, it oh, oh, what's, what's going on there? Why, why is it bouncing around? Yeah, it's 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 because it's it just does all the frames in random order, really. It does all the frames in random order, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because nerds do things. So here we are, nerds doing things. Um, I've basically changed it so you can just throw video frames in there. So if you want to go up to my fork, there we go. The, the nerdy rodent frame interpolation. If you if you click on forks, you can see where it says it. There's a there's a link in the description as well. Anyway, changes in this fork. One basic change, and that is to allow for easy whole video interpolation. Great. Okay, so why, why do I want to do this? Why do I want to do this? Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so say you're doing one of those AI videos, and uh, you've got some output from PYTTY, and it, and it looks like this. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got the whole thing, and it's going it's going quite fast. There's quite a lot of inter frames in there. Yeah, it's, whoa. yeah, I'd like to slow that down a bit. I'd like to slow that down a bit, but we've already seen, hang on, it, it goes a bit funny. It goes a bit funny, but not with my fork. Not with my fork. If you, if you use my one, there are some special changes in there that make the entire video go in order. So there we go. I will leave that rendering, and once it finishes, you will be able to see the entire video in slow motion. So there you go. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Now, if you need to learn about some other nerdy stuff, then what you could do is look at a couple of these videos here.